Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we uh, just came back from a nice successful set of raiding. We got um, a little bit more money. I think we should probably upgrade our castle a little bit. We're a little bit low on it uh, right now. I mean, we do also have a dragon that's hanging around, which if we have a look some somewhere, it'll tell us about the dragon, I'm sure. Like, we got some modifier, unless somebody has tamed it. Uh, what's it called? Firecatcher? Firecatcher. There we go. Firecatcher. Nope, nobody's friends with it. Cool. Uh, right, so let's uh, upgrade our castle. What are we going to do with it? We could put in a shipyard that would give us more tax income and more galleys. Uh, the good thing about more galleys is it would allow us to take more money um, from any of our raids, which could definitely be good. Some defenses for fort level could be good. Garrison size increase isn't actually that good. Um, all right, though. Um, it makes it harder to siege. Militia training grounds are really good. Uh, they give just give us an extra 100 men. Uh, 100 men times our modifiers. So it gives us a, an extra 100 and... Uh, what's that? 25 base? Yeah, 125 base. No, 115 base. And then uh, it gets multiplied by things. Uh, barracks, not quite as good. Stables, not quite as good. And castle shipyard, not as good. I really like the idea of the Ironborn Shipyard, just because it gives you so much tax income. What do these other things, private farms and castle town need? As small estates, two. As patrol posts, one. So patrol posts, although they're not that good, would then allow us access to the next level of private farms, which would give us a little bit of tax income, but a lot of light infantry. Um, upgrade to next level of Ironborn Castle. I, it says we don't have the requirements for it, so I'm guessing that that means that we need to have some sort of uh, other thing happen. Like, we do have a thing in here, which is uh, improve holding, which I believe can also like help you improve other things. Maybe that's it? I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking rubbish and it, it, the requirements never means nothing. Um, anyway. So, I'm going to go for the Ironborn Shipyard. I think it's a good idea. I think it's uh, in the long term it will pay out. Anyway, there we go. So yeah, we have a dragon on our court. Still not really sure what to do about that. We also have, uh, once the autosave finishes, hopefully it'll finish soon. Uh, we also have, um, our men are kind of getting back up to strength. If we could actually have a full strength uh, army, it might be a good idea to go properly raiding and getting like pro full sieges down. Gets lots and lots and lots of money. Uh, but we can't do that just yet. It might also be a good idea to attack for a stone tree, which we have a claim on. Uh, which we're... Um, uh, we do have a claim on that, right? Yeah, we have a claim on Stone Tree. We also have a weak claim on High Lordship of Pike, and our wife has a strong claim on High Lordship of Pike. So we could potentially press that, although he has a lot more men than we do. Uh, we might also want to change... Uh, how old are we? We're 20, so we might want to change our captain of the fleet to training troops. That would give us a lot more levy reinforcement rate and increase our levy size significantly. Uh, it would mean our son is not being taught how to fight as well. I actually think that's worth it, just for a little bit. He's only two. If we change that, that should mean that our max levy size goes up, yeah, to 2,000. It gives us an extra 500 troops, and it means it will actually reinforce at a reasonable speed. So yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll leave it a couple of months, and we'll see uh, how that goes. Uh, lots of people being released from different dungeons. Oh, we've got a lot of righteous imprisonments to do. You, uh, we can righteous imprison for reasons I don't know. Um, Havium. I might just imprison you because you're trying to replace someone as treasurer. Don't care. You're trying to kill Zia Tall Talker. I'm not totally against that. Um, and you are trying to replace Lend Lannister as captain of the fleet. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, we had in command happen to us. Where are we? We're leading troops in Lannisport. Oh, we're leading some raiders again. Oh, there's, we're also in a war for the Norvashi Harlaw War for the city of Goldborough. Uh, are you special interest? You are. Oh, interesting that we didn't get a pop-up. Anyway. Uh, under my guidance, my young courtier Jonella is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Yes, that's Len's Lannister's uh, wife. That we're teaching how to fight. Um, okay. And we're gonna, we have a lot of uh, money. See, well, we had a lot of money and we've now uh, invested it. It's good. We still have a reasonable amount to uh, spend on things that we need, but not too much. A fleet full of loot has returned from raiding, and uh, our liege got a well, our kinsmen and liege got a lot of money and prestige, and we were uh, part of that raiding party. 
Uh, we have won the siege, so that's the uh, Mountain Vale have won a siege against uh, the Rock. Was there a war? Is that still the war's war for the Mountain Vale? The Rock's war for the Mountain Vale. It's 100% in favour of King Tyros, the Unworthy. Oh, he's going to win that. Uh, which means the Mountain Vale should just drop right underneath the Rock. Like any second now. Lord Gilwood of Stone Tree is trying to assert my title is just Car uh, Lenwood is supposedly travelling around as uh, Serpent. Uh, is supposedly travelling around Stone Tree to try and find both documents and supporters to help him legitimise the claim on the title. I need to do something about it. And try and make him disappear, try and bribe him, or let it be for now. Well, we're diligent and we're a little bit sneaky, so you know what? We'll try and make him disappear. See what happens. The assassin succeeded. The trouble of some just a car that was roaming around the country trying to bribe a uh, claim on my title is no more, and there's no trace leading back to me. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes, we can't be having that. There's a peasant's revolt on Tyros the Unworthy. There we are. I was wondering why that wasn't happening. Uh, Lord Paramount Gilbert the Munificent has accepted King Tyrosh the Unworthy's peace offer, so he is now Lord Paramount underneath our liege. And our liege now has a lot more troops to command and a lot more land. Uh, this past month, your courtier, George Iron Arms, has been organising a reaving. A reaving he has announced will travel far to the north in the Shivering Sea, while they will target Lothrathi and uh, Ibni ships. He and his fellow reavers are now ready and they'll set sail from Harlow Hill in their quest to follow the old way. So George the uh, Bald, uh, Grey Worm, and uh, Joseph Van Serpent Tail are going. Do us proud. Cool. A couple of wars ended inconclusively because the Mountain Vale is no more. And now there's just the war against the Crag and the Peasants Revolt. And then we come back underneath the much, much larger rock. Lord Paramount Gilroy the Munificent is revoking some titles. Okay. Oh, who died? Uh... Beamor Linderly died. Okay. He's um, the son of Lord Paramount Gilrod. Not the only son, though, so. It doesn't really matter that much. Lots of people, uh, some raiders ha happening, people being re released from dungeons. Lord Garth of Longtable accepted Lord Malier of Stonebridge's peace offer um, to release a captive. Okay, and that succeeded. Cool. Um, right. Anything else going on? Um, people are no longer guardians of other people. Not really that important. Someone's sieging Harlow Hill. Norvos is sieging us. Well, I'm not entirely happy about that at all. In the Nor Norvosi Harlow War for the city of Goldborough. What is the city of Goldborough? And is it in our lands? Wait, is it underneath us? Uh, Gold Barrow. I don't think it is. Is it underneath Lannisport? Yes, it's underneath Lannisport. It's currently held by Ulrich. Um, okay. I guess they can get this claim because it's a merchant republic, technically. Yeah, it's a merchant republic. Not even technically, actually. Uh, a daughter was born to Tom Greatrion and Gwyneth Serpentail named Grizzle. Grizzle Greatrion. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, Farings are buying favours. My liege, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I've discovered a plot where Asher Forrester seeks to replace Guinear Torn as Castilian. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll leave it be. An old wound is aggravating and painful. May the drowned god have mercy on us. Oh, we're ill. Uh, please don't die. My young courtier has finished her education in the ways of court and statesmanship. I notice with pride she has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Which is amazing given that we had, like, she had us educating her. But, well done. Very well done. Um, yeah. Not much more to say. Will it to the ambitious as usurp the lordship of the crag from Sheila Westerling? Okay, so Pastons now control the crag. Um, wait. Um, interesting. But the crag is not in a war with the rock. In it. Oh, no, it's still in the war with the rock. And Lady Amena the... Wait. I must be looking at something else. Anyway. Uh, I woke this morning feeling much better. It seems my illness has passed. Oh, good. We're not ill anymore. Nice if our wound went away, though. Howland Snow has declared Howland's host claim uh, on the north on King Andrew of the North. As Howland Pace has declared his war with 18,000 men on the north who have 34,000 men. I mean, he's got less men, but there is still the chance he can win, which is uh, surprising. 
And if nothing else, it's going to cause some uh, commotion up there. Which the north has been pretty stable for a long time. We've finished our shipyard, which gives us a lot more money each month. My courtier, nun Alvarez Pierre, has, desist, has expressed a desire to get married and asked for permission to find a suitable spouse. On you go. Let's see if you can find someone. And he did. He just created one out of thin air. Fantastic. That's why that event's uh, so good. My young courtier has finished her education and intrigues of court. It turned out less well than expected. Mordain Lannister, who was the uh, daughter of Tommen and Jocelyn. Okay, fine. Uh. Don't really need to worry. Lysena Withers uh, died of poor health. She was married to Maelor uh, Celtigar. Okay. We're still being sieged for no apparent reason. Uh. Our liege isn't coming to help us. Uh, Zia Stonecrows died a natural death, which is surprising because people were trying to kill her. She was previously married to Lord Christopher, our grandfather. And uh, she is our grandmother, in fact. Oh, maybe we should have cared a little bit more that someone was trying to kill her. I didn't realize she was our grandmother. My Lou... Uh, my, my, my lose? My uh, leash, but that's not even what it says. It just says news. News from Harlow Hill, my lord. A new dragon's entered the world. Lena Targaryen has apparently successfully hatched what is named the he dragon Teriel. You hatched another dragon? Oh dear. Another one in Harlow Hill? Now we have we have too many dragons. This is not uh, this is not on. Um, also, what's happened with Firecatcher? Uh, nothing's happened with Firecatcher, but I just thought we should have him a special interest. In fact, Lena Targaryen. Uh, unless we get pop up, like, spammed with pop ups, um, we'll have him a special interest. And Tariel. We'll do that. Um, I'm just checking. Yeah, Firecatcher is still in our court. Well, he's still in our lands. Not necessarily at court. That would be a little bit weird. Um, a lot of things are, uh, wars are ending. Uh, what's that? Invasion of the Night's Watch has ended. Prince Tor Norwin of the Rock has won. Yes, okay, so that was the King Beyond the Wall was trying to get an invasion on the Night's Watch and it didn't work. Um, my lord, I grieve to report that Master Meyer Mello's men have caused much damage to the castle and countryside after the siege of Harlow Hill. What? They destroyed everything? They actually destroyed everything. What? I didn't even know they could do that. Oh. Okay then. Um. Can't help but feel a little bit annoyed at that. Okay. Oh, there, there's our leash's men. Well, that's the stone trees men actually trying to help. They're dead. Leash's men. Uh, they're gonna die very soon. Yep. Well, this is awful. This is just awful. Uh. We did not win the Siege of Harlow Hill. We very much did not win that. We in fact lost a battle on Harlow Hill. Oh, they're going to siege down more of our land. Travelers bring rumours of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more and that Raynar Sundlass now rides Fafnar into battle. Fafnar being the, um, the son, yes, yeah, son of uh, Meraxxus. Yeah. Travelers bring rumours of fire and blood. They say that Felfang has escaped the dungeons of, uh, Domesis Magar and is uh, built a lair in the Great Plaza. Okay, interesting. Well, he's off to Siege Stone Tree. Um, it's an idea, I suppose. I'm not really liking this, uh, getting completely destroyed. But at least we're not going to lose any land at the end of it. We did lose, like, our fantastic province completely, but still a little bit annoying. Is there, like a repair option here? Nope. We just, we, just, we just lost it forever. Okay. Uh, Lord Edmer of the Fingers has served the Lordship of Scorch Vale from Shara the Cruel. So that's uh, Edmore Linderley. Yeah, dragons are really, really awful. Why was I thinking dragons there? I was going to say dragons are awful because they destroy your stuff, but this isn't dragons. It's just normal people. I did not know that they could destroy your holdings. That's very odd. Anyway. Uh, Gasilla Meyer has died. She was the son of... She was the daughter of uh, Gisela Meyer. Anyway, yes. Died still. Doesn't matter. Oh, I don't know. We're going to have to end this episode soon or uh, I'm uh, not going to be able to concentrate much further. Uh, right. Don't know what's up. Anyway. Uh, things are no longer affecting other people. Raiders are appearing places. We have weak claims we could press if we had any men, which we don't. Um... Okay. 
It would be nice if we could see how the siege was going. I assume it's going alright, but it would be nice if we could actually see that. Oh, we saw something happen in the Bane Fort, but not for very long. I've been corresponding regularly with my half-brother Hagen, and always make, just see it, uh, make sure to see him when I get the chance. It's a harsh world, and family must stick together. We'll get some uh, opinion bonuses. We can go on a reaving again. Yeah, we could also try and uh, face a dragon, but we're wounded. We're not going to go on either. We're wounded. We'll see if we can get rid of wounded. Then we'll try these things. Uh, they say that Jakar and Nestrion now rides uh, Felfang into battle. Ah, huh, interesting. Ambrod has dragged his unfaithful spouse Harma uh, before me and insists I should punish her. Okay. Waste of my time or should be locked in the stock. Oh, we're a family person. Um, you know what? She'll be locked in the stock. Definitely. Not having that. Lady and men of the wicked accepted King Tyrosh the Unworthy's peace offer. Okay, so uh, that means he's no longer at war, so we should pop back underneath him, although we are at war still, so we might not. Uh, Meldred Serpentil now needs an actual education education, but uh, it's obviously going to be Marshall. That's just the only option. Uh, Harman of Pike founded the deposed King Tyrosh faction. Fair enough, fair enough. Gilwood of Stone Tree died under suspicious circumstances. Someone murdered him. And now Lord Reaver of Harlot, Lord Reaver Hagen of Harlot has inherited the Lordship of Stone Tree. Oh, uh, to the most excellent Lord Adric, your Wisdom Mercy a legendary, I would like to offer you a seat to my council, thereby offer you the title of Chief General. Well, of course we accept. Um, and now Stone Tree is with our kinsmen as well. wonder if uh, he's got anything else he wants to do with it. Oh, there we go. We're actually finding out right now. Uh, to all subjects of Lord Reaver Hagen, the inheritance of Lords of the Lordship of Stone Tree has been thrown into question after the untimely death of Lord Gilwood Sir, uh, Silveraxe. He left no clear heir, so I hereby name Unella Botley as the uh, lawful heir. Who was his wife. Okay. Oh, because his son is part of the uh, Night's Watch. Okay, so that's the end of the Silver Axes, and now the Botleys control it. Oh, interesting. And, uh, yeah, they don't have that many men anymore. It'd be great if we had our men, which we don't have any of. Anyway. Um, to the glorious Lord Adric, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Please support me by voting with me in the council. If you agree to do this uh, for me, I will henceforth owe you a favour. Well, what are you voting for? What are you interested in? You're a pragmatist. Uh, what does it think we are? It thinks we're malcontent. Oh, we could change what we are. Um, I think we're probably a loyalist. Yeah, we're loyalist. Um, pragmatist. Uh, aim for the path of least resistance. Uh, they are inclined to support wars for reclaiming de jure land. They might also support wars against weak opponents. Um, yeah, pragmatist sounds all right. We'll follow. We'll do what you say. You've got a favor. Also means that we can perhaps get a vote for something that we want. Maybe change succession law or something like that. Uh, Howland Snow accepted King Andrew of the North's peace offer. So Andrew won. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I thought it would be more interesting if the other side won, but... Or if it was a closer fight. You know. We'll keep going. Uh, this army should probably move over and kill the other army. Unless the siege is about to... Oh, the siege finished. Alright. I was about to say, unless the siege was about to finish. Uh, weak claims are uh, a plenty, but we have no men. Uh, yep, there goes that army. Uh, my liege, since I arrived in Harlow Hill, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, I believe fame and fortune awaits them. Your humble marshal, Lend Lannister. Cool. Well, we, we're now getting a lot of reinforcement, which we'll need, because most of them are... Uh, well, most of them are dead. Holly uh, Wilson, or Holly Pike, bastard of James... Uh, well, so James and um, Helia Wilson has died. She was married to Jerry Jerry. Okay. Interesting. Uh, obviously, they finished the siege instantly because it had been siege and resieged, so it had a mo modifier on it. King Tyrosh the Unworthy has declared the Westlander the Crag to sure war over the Crag on Lord Willet uh, the Ambitious. Ah, okay, so Lord Willet earlier took uh, a province of the, tr of the Crag away. Because he was fighting for independence in an independence war, he got he was actually independent. Okay. I see. A son was born to Makar Targaryen and Lena 
a Targaryen named Ares Targaryen. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I believe because he's a Targaryen, should he not have one of the two traits from the Targaryens? Is Ares, isn't he? Uh, Ares. I believe at some point he gets um, like either genius or lunatic put on him. I can't rem don't know exactly how it works, but I believe that's uh, how it's done in the mod. Your courtier of Ro Ronan caught grayscale. Her skin is turning a molted black and grey in a stone light to the touch. Uh, it seems the drowned god does not favour her. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, we did not win the Siege of Stone Tree. Uh, Magister uh, Narlin won it. Yes. 90% war score he's got here. Uh, they say dragons live once more. Donfis Magar now rides Felfang into battle. Okay. We can go on a reaving. Don't want to do that. Wait. Oh, it says we can go on a reaving, but it says we can't go after the dragon anymore. Is somebody there? Nope. Apparently we're the dragon's educator. I love that dragons need to have educators. Yep. Cool. I don't suppose we do anything with the dragons. I think we just we just don't get events about them. Um, this seed should be over fairly quickly, right? Yeah. Uh, the land is consumed by dragon fire, and Lena Targaryen is responsible for it. Ah, uh, she tried to, uh... Oh, wait, I guess that means the, uh, Tariel went off and did something bad. Yeah. Uh, a mess about invite to plot has been received from Goya from Royal Goodbrother. So, Royal, uh, Princess of Westeros. Okay. Uh, may live in harmony and contentment, but we would like you to back her plot to kill Cersei Lannister. Who is Cersei Lannister? Um, I'm going to accept, not because I want to be in the plot, but because I want to know who Cersei Lannister is. Uh, wait, I can't see. You're trying to kill someone. Who are you trying to kill? I guess I'm going to have to look it up. Um, Cersei Lannister. Okay. Lannister is in Harlot. She is, um, the daughter of Tion Lannister. Oh, no idea who she is. I'm gonna back I'm gonna stop back in the plot. That's alright. Right, let it keep going. Um Hed Hadron vote from Volantis is now voting for tax changes in the Dothraki horde. Perfect. Perfect. I kinda wanna go on to this war is over. Oh there we go. Magister Beckwo, the seducer, accepted Lord Reaver Hagen of Harlaw's peace offer. And he lost, which now means that underneath here, we now have the high city of uh, Norvos controls, uh, the city of uh, Goldbarrow. Oh. Well, that is uh, unfortunate, but we are now back underneath the rock. Uh, I wonder if more people from the rock are able to try and get this dragon that's uh, in our land. That'd be interesting. Anyway, how many men do we have now? Still, still a total of zero men. How, I wonder how many we'll have at the end of the month. I want to see uh, how much we get. Adric Serpentail, I invite you to pay the iron price by joining me in a reaving across the seas of the disputed lands. Uh, I promise we'll gain many salt wives and much plunder, as in the ways of old. We're still wounded, though. Um, well, oh, do we join him? I think we have to say no. Yeah, I think we have to say no. We're, we're wounded. Still. If the wound was healed, we would go. Um, son was born to Tom Greatrion and Gwyneth Serpentail named Stefar. Okay, child lacks childhood focus. Urus Serpentail needs one. Um, he's being, currently being educated by our wife. We could change that, but um, I have no real problems with him being educated by our wife. But uh, he should probably be being educated by us, let's be fair. Um, let's find ourselves. Yeah. Urus needs to be six before we can choose an educator. Oh, okay. Um, well, if we were educating him, it would probably be Pride. And it just makes sense, because he's going to be groomed for leadership. The wound is finally healed, leaving behind a pretty grotesque scar. Okay. I'm going to wait till the autosave on the first before we end it, just because it kind of works out. Anyway. Uh, your courtier, Grey Worm, has been organizing reaving. A reaving is now to spoil target the seas of the disputed lands. He and his fellow reavers are now ready to set sail from Harlow Hill on the quest to follow the old way. Grey Worm, George the Bald, Havium, Guinea Pike, Joel Sran Serpentail, Tom Greatrion, and Roderick Serpentail have all gone reaving. Oh, and we just stayed here all, all by ourselves. A raven has arrived from the citadel. We should rejoice as winter is coming to an end. Good. How many men do we have? Still zero. You think we'd get more anyway? 
Uh, the dragon firecatcher was supposed to lay on Harlow Hill after escaping from Zia Tall Talker. Well, I mean, she is dead, so I, I don't think it was that difficult. Wait. Oh, she actually just died. Wait. She was already dead, right? Yeah, she died of natural causes. And then was fed to a dragon. It says. Were there two Zia Tall Talkers? No. No. Anyway. It must just be a bug. He, she must have been in the middle of an event chain and then that happened. Havium uh, is now known as the Bold. Okay. Cool. Cool. Raiders have arrived. Timoth Martell died a natural death. He was married to uh, Princess Aliandra. Oh, did I set the new King of Westeros to special interest? I don't know if I did. There's the autosave. Uh, we will find the new King of Westeros. Um, where is his capital? Oh, it's, it's right in the middle of the Stormlands. There we go. Set you a special interest. We'll wait a couple of days just so that there's a uh, love a gap from the autosave. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.